Daniel, uh, say hi to everyone. Hey guys, good to be here. So uh, Daniel, today we're uh, we're playing a little bit of Fans with Fury, and uh, I'm going to show the first public showing of um, of a mission uh, a bit into the game. Can you uh, can you tell everyone a bit about where we are? <laughs> well, I mean. Not really, it's a, it's a bit of a secret, right? Shelly is on her way to a very important place. Um, the whole game is basically, you know, like it's it's a road movie, right? So she goes to a lot of different places. She's uh, Early on, she's in Albuquerque. Right now, she's uh, on a bit of, uh, on her way to a bit of a more uh, idyllic location, uh, which has a bunch of, you know, very dangerous secrets in there. That's all I can say right now. <laughs> I would say, correct me if I'm wrong, Daniel, we, we're kind of going pretty insane with the amount of interactivity in the game. You could say that, yeah. Yeah. That was like one of the big things from the very beginning. And I would say like everyone in the development team has, you know, like has always taken that sort of like as, you know, the big most important pillar in the game uh, throughout the whole development. Like that was to us, to us really important uh, that the game is linear. But it feels as if the world itself is alive. Like you, just with everything around you, right? Like you can feel that there is a bigger world that you're a part of. Exactly. And I think what what makes the 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 game very unique in the way it's set up is, you know, we have this. It's it's a trip where you essentially go through mission by mission, but it never cuts. You know, you're always it's just one continuous long game, just like you know games like Half Life and so on. Um, but what's really cool about it is that then we add a ton of elements from immersive sims. So it's almost as if the game is an immersive sim in terms of all the different things you can do and the almost insane amount of interactivity. Um, which I think is, is a kind of a unique mix for, for a game like this. So, uh, let's see, we have a mission here. We have reached the control room to gain control over the train, alright? All aboard the Ass Kicking Express. Exactly. And we'll drink some cocktails and some wine. Uh, okay, I'm getting drunk already. <laughs> what do I have of weapons here? I'm gonna go back to my uh, GDF shotgun here. Oh, get away from that. Get away from that. I love the uh, dismemberment. No, but uh, like for us it was really important that even with a train map like this, that there is like a certain level of exploration there, right? Because yeah. like usually when you think train map, like it's it, it, like you think probably like a very linear map, right? Uh, and we wanted to make sure even in a map like this that there's like a certain degree of exploration in there. Absolutely. And, and the fact is, as you say, usually train maps are very linear. The, the fact that there's so much exploration is part of making, you know, the missions in, in Phantom Fury are so interesting. All yeah. right, let's have some fun with these guys. And actually, you can uh, you can rip this one this one off as well at some point with uh, with an arm upgrade, right? That's correct. Mm. Good call. Ooh. Okay. New weapon. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh shit. So this is our electric flamethrower, essentially. Mm -hmm, basically, yeah. Bit of a twist. All right, let's see emails. Hmm, new measures for security crate. Interesting. New code is F B C A D E. F B K A D. All right. B C A D E. There we go. Ooh, nice. The key card. Yes. Oh yeah, this is one of the kiosks that I mentioned. Yeah, these are the upgrade stations. Exactly, yeah. Okay, let's see. So you have charge punch. Um I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna love me some dual wielding. Yeah, that's a good choice. Alright, now I just need to find another Another gun. All right, let's see here. 
Wonder what's gonna happen now. Oh shit! Come on! Out of ammo. Can't hit it from here. Oh, you guys brought out the big guns just for me? Yeah, don't die. Just don't die, please. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I did. <laughs> Alright, I uh, that was not good, but uh, instead of me spoiling everything, Daniel, um, what do you think about that we just give this to everyone? Like right here, right now at Realm Steep. You know, that's, you know that, sounds, that sounds fair. I mean, you died. <laughs> Might as well get something out of it, you know? <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right, everyone, you, hear, you heard it here first. Um, this entire demo, including what happens next, will be available for all of you to download right now. We have more announcements very soon about Phantom Fury, but now everyone enjoy the uh, Phantom Fury official demo and uh, enjoy the rest of Realm Steep. Have fun, guys. Have fun, everyone.